are these? These are ear blocks. For what? What are we doing today? Uh, we're shooting. Shooting with the shotgun, maybe <laughs> rifle. <laughs> Do you guys remember Jesse? We're back in action. This is his brother-in-law, Kane, or Kian. Hello there. From Ireland. <laughs> we need to hear your accent all day long, what's please. The, what's the crack? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we're out here near our hometown, St. Nicky, with some rifles, shotguns, doing some target range. But the real reason why I came along was to test out the Sony 24mm 1.4. This, in my opinion, is the ultimate B-roll king. So I thought, why not mix the two? Have some fun and... Uh, test out this lens and show you what it's capable of. This is what we're going to be shooting with. Yeah. What kind of what kind of shotgun is that? This is a pump pump shotgun. Oh, pump shotgun. Yeah. Uh, is there going to be kickback? Yeah, a little bit. Oh my not gosh, too, me and Kane are going to fly into the snow. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, me and Kain, we are total noobs. Yes is the instructor here, so we're learning from him how to use the shotgun. Kane, go for it. This? Yeah. And how many bullets we got? Uh, many. Many? <laughs> yeah, 75. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I think we're going to tire out before yep. the bullets run out. Back. Yeah. Then you aim. <laughs> cool. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> and then you... There is a little bit of... Yeah, show, show when it comes out. <laughs> oh, that was pretty boss. <laughs> You got it? Yeah. <laughs> this guy's a professional. He's lying to us. He's been okay. doing this for years in Ireland. <laughs> yes, uh, am, I, am I ready? Yes, you are oh ready. Oh my gosh, here, you take the camera, I'll take the gun. So this is my second time actually shooting a rifle shotgun. I've gone hunting before. Can you believe that? Yes, <laughs> In my olden days, I was a hunter. I'm ready. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a kick. <laughs> So what do we got there? We have some watermelons. Uh, we thought it'd be fun to shoot some watermelons too, just for that uh, explosion effect. All right, yes, uh, do us the honors of the exploding <laughs> watermelon. Okay, you ready? <laughs> they, where do they go? They just disappear. <laughs> what else can we blow up, Kine? We have one more visual experiment. We got, um, a big jug of water, we're gonna dye it blue and we're gonna just see the... Hopefully, let's see if it works out. Here's our water jug, here's our food coloring dye. We're gonna make this blue. <laughs> I just realized that these guys are both dads. So this is like the ultimate dad hangout, you know, right here. This is how dads have fun, right? Yeah. Did you tell your wives that you're taking the kids out for a stroll? Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> what did you tell your wife you were doing right now? Just going for some milk. Oh, st studying for the exam you have <laughs> yeah, tomorrow, yeah. but you're shooting. <laughs> yes, sir. Sure. Thank you for this experience. No problem. You're the best. Anytime. It's good to have you back on the channel. I had a fantastic time at the gun range with my friend Jesse and my new friend Kian from Ireland. That was the first time ever in my life that I've ever shot a shotgun like that and it had some kick to it. I definitely had like a bruised bicep afterwards. I think that might be a sign that I just had bad technique. But nonetheless, a lot of fun. But that whole video was shot on the 24 millimeter. Of course, other than those really close up shots, those are shot with the 7200 because in no way am I gonna go really close to exploding watermelon with a 24 millimeter. But this is, in my opinion, the best B-roll slow motion lens you can use. I love it because it's wide like the 1635 that I often use, but it has that shallow depth of field to get that really nice bokeh 
for your videos. Even just looking through the footage that we got from today, the snow particles and everything look so epic because of this nice shallow depth of field and bokeh from the Sony 24 millimeter 1.4 lens. Not only is this lens amazing for filming B-roll and getting that epic bokeh, as well, I really like it for portraits. Yes, it is a little bit more wide than most people would use, but I feel like this lens doesn't distort much and you're easily able to get, you know, half body shots, full body shots, or even close up portrait shots of a person and it still looks really good. This lens definitely doesn't distort as much compared to a lens like the 1635. It is really good when it comes to that and it's sharp all the way to the edges, which is something that people really look for in a lens. And you get all of this in a very small and compact package. Comparing the 24 millimeter to the 15 to the 1635 and the 7200, you can just see how small the Sony 24 1.4 really is. Now, for what you're getting with this lens, you are paying a premium. If you go to the B&H website, it costs a total of 1400 US dollars. And for some people, that might be a lot of money, but in my opinion, lenses are always worth investing in because not only do they last a long time, but lenses are what's gonna get you that awesome image quality when you're shooting out the camera. So like the saying goes, you get what you pay for, and that is definitely the truth when it comes to the Sony 24 millimeter 1.4. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this very unofficial, unscientific review of the Sony 24 1.4 lens, but I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along on the experience of what it's like to use this lens. And let's just say it's very enjoyable. I wanna keep doing these experience gear review type videos because I think it's fun to take you guys along the journey, shooting with different kinds of gear and showing you guys what's possible with different cameras and lenses. So there will be more to come of these types of reviews. And we'll just leave the more professional camera gear reviews to guys like Gerald Undone because he's just freaking amazing at it and I could never compare to him when it comes to reviewing gear. So let him do the amazing reviews and let me do the experiential reviews. How about that? All right, if you are interested in this lens, I'll make sure to link it below with an Amazon link so you can click there and grab the lens if you're interested in investing in a new lens for your arsenal. All right, that's it for today's video. Have a great day.